Hello, this is Terry and welcome to my next uh, build video in my mini camper teardrop build series. And in this build video, I'm going to be doing a couple of things. I'm going to install my AC and DC uh, input receptacles and I'm also going to install my RV exhaust fan on top. So uh, let me go ahead and get started with that. The first thing I have to do is uh, go ahead and uh, do the cutouts of the holes for the receptacles and also cut out the hole uh, for the uh, RV uh, exhaust fan. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I've got my holes cut out for my receptacles and also for my fan on top. So let's go ahead and mount those receptacles. I've got my AC uh, receptacle connected. I haven't got it mounted yet or permanently mounted yet. So I just want to run a test on it first just to make sure that uh, it's going to work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, plug it in here. Okay, now let's go on the inside. I've got a light already plugged into my AC receptacle here. So uh, Let's see if it's going to work. But hey, how about that? So I've got light. So uh, looks good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's check the back one too. I plugged it into the galley receptacle. And I've got light there too. So that's good. So uh, go ahead and permanently mount that now.
got my DC connector connected. I haven't got it permanently mounted yet. I want to test it first before I permanently mount it. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got it connected here. I'm going to connect it to this battery here. So uh, let's take a look here. And the negative's over on this side. The positive's over here. All right. It's connected in there. Let's go on the inside of the camper. Let's go to primary power, which is one position. Looks like we got 12.5 volts, which is good. So we can get some lights on the subject here. Okay, we got lights on now. Outside lights we got. So, very cool. So, uh, turn that off. Looks like it's good. Let's go ahead and permanently mount that input. I got my power receptacles uh, permanently installed. I still got some beetle tape that's gonna squeeze out of this over a day, so I'll just trim that tomorrow. And I'm also gonna put some uh, sealant around both of them just to make sure it's uh, watertight. So uh, now I've got uh, inputs for power. So I think it looks uh, really good and it works. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start on the uh, RV fan and the uh, on the top. Okay, I've got the top of the fan mounted on top of the camper and I use some uh, clear insulation tape and some beetle tape uh, along where I screwed my screws in all the way around. So it's uh, oozing out right now. So uh, I'm gonna let this stay overnight. Uh, once that's done, I'm gonna put some sealant on, on uh, the top of the screws and also some sealant all the way around. So uh, while that's doing this thing, let's go on the inside and let's put the uh, trim part under the bottom of the fan, connect the power up of course, 
and uh, get that connected and uh, power it up. I've got the inside face plate uh, installed and uh, let me go ahead and test it. I've got the battery connected. So uh, let me turn on primary DC, 12.5 volts. Uh, let's turn the lights on to make sure they come on. And here's the fan here. Let me kind of hold that and make sure the fan's going to, well see, first of all, I gotta have a fan switch on. Fan switch on there. Let's go ahead and start it up. Low, high, low, very low, and off. And uh, it'll also reverse, so I'm going to wait till it stops and just make sure the reverse function works. Okay, let's see if the reverse works. for that so uh, it's only got two settings on that so everything looks uh, looks good okay that's going to do it for this video um, next video I'm going to uh, actually start on my tongue box uh, I'm gonna do that uh, because I've got to order my trim and I'm not sure exactly how long uh, I'm gonna, it'll be for me to get the trim in. So I'm gonna go ahead and order the trim and then work on my tongue box where I'm gonna have my power at and uh, connection to my solar panels, inverter, things of that nature. So uh, I'll be doing that next. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please continue to watch the series, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.